and I'm joined by Paul Kelly discussing the Molly Detilla 5K run. So, Mr. Kelly, a very good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing fine. And, you know, there's proof that you actually ran in this because you can check on the Molly Detilla website, and it's the original picture, the first, very first Molly run. You know, you're, you're in the picture. <laughs> well, I'll have to, not to make me feel old or anything, but... <laughs> So, the Molly Detillo 5K run, for those that don't know, how did this race originate? Well, um, see, Molly disappeared in 2014, so 2000, um, did I that right yet? Yeah. No, wait a minute, 2004, and then um, in 2005, they had a run, a Molly Detillo run. Uh, to generate funds to help pay for the cost of the detectives and things that they were trying to uh, do to find out what really happened and where she you know might be so um, the first race was very successful it was um, over 900 people there it was a 10k and a uh, 5k and uh, children's run and um, and it was it was more like a religious experience, to tell you the truth, because people just turned out, and you know, it was a lot of prayers being said. And so from there, um, the the race that is now going on uh, is named after Molly, um, and it actually this race that we continued it, uh, it was. Um, Madison State Hospital did it for uh, Special Olympics to generate monies for Special Olympics, and it was people came from five or six counties around, and it, it was a big event. And they had a boys and girls one mile run and a 5K, and my children ran in the um, um, the one mile run when they were youngsters, and it meant a lot to them. Um, Molly ran in it. Uh, in fact, she won the mile as a second grader, if I remember right. Whoa. And um, so, when um, when this race that actually started in uh, 1982, uh, uh, it was not going to be happening in 2006. Um, so when the Molly people said they were not going to have a second Molly run, then uh, I touched base with them and said we'd like to keep the original race going. It started in 1982 at the um, Madison State Hospital. Keep that going. How about if we name that race after Molly? And we put together um, the coaches from Madison High School and Shaw High School. They're on the planning committee. And we meet uh, once a month, starting in January, and it's um, uh, and it, it, it so that's that's the planning process. We kept the race alive, and as uh, Molly's mother said, this race is enough of a uh, this race is a monument for Molly Dottillo, and that's in her honor. And you know, like you said, the fact that she won as a second grader, she was an avid runner. She ran all yeah. the time. And one thing I remember, I don't know if it was you telling me this or it might have been Coach Lavelle, but, you know, one thing that she said, they said was when her mom would always attend the event and she would always get emotional because she couldn't believe how many people just came out just to run for her. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so it, it's just a wonderful event. And the cool thing about it is so many um, s students participate. I mean, it's, a, it's really a family affair, uh, adults run. Um, right now, and, and, and I always say it's the, the youthful input here that really makes this race happen. Uh, today, early sign up, we have 365 uh, youth runners. That's incredible. It is incredible. We have three of them here today. So, and we're, uh, we're going to be chatting with them here yeah. in just a little while. You know, for people you know a lot of people are scared of running you know I think that's an issue a lot of people have because it's just you know so many people are they just don't want to work at it or they're afraid that they can't do it what's your message to the people that think that well um, well that that's another cool thing about this race and it, it, it means a lot uh, to a lot of people um, but what it does it uh, the youngsters get started and after they run their first Molly Dottillo run, and for a lot of them, that is their first event, uh, first race to run in, 
and this happened to my grandson um, when he first ran it. After that, he was a runner. You know, it was it was not in question. You know, I just ran a race, and I have a I have a I got a popsicle and I got a ribbon <laughs> for it. You know, and so um, so it, it, it means a lot. It, it's uh, as far as it introduces them to the sport, and that's the whole idea, and that's why the coaches from Shaw, coaches from uh, Madison High School, that's why they wanted to make it happen, just to uh, start them off at an early age, and maybe it'll be their thing. Um, so that that's why it's important. And, and you know, you talk about how people from Madison, people from Shaw put this together. I'm sure many other people from around town have helped you out as well. Am I correct? Yeah, we have, um, with, you know, volunteers, we have close to 80 volunteers every year, and people like uh, Mark Cheatham, Cindy DeTillo, um, you know, Mark, uh, he's the barrier person, and that's kind of important, you know, and uh, Cindy DeTillo is, um, she leads the registration part of it on the race day, and, um, and of course, at this point, we also, you know, people can sign up race day, starting at 6 uh, a.m., or you can sign up and pick up your packet the day before the race at Ivy Tech from 4.30 to 6.30. You can stop in, pick up your packet. Uh, everybody that picks up their packet or signs up on Ivy Tech um, day, which is uh, Friday the 11th, May 11th, um, everybody that picks up their packet or signs up gets also gets a free slice of pizza with a bottle of water. Heck yeah, that's encouraging. Eat that. That's enough encouragement Watch right there. Out. <laughs> and you know, you you said you have 365 youth runners this year. What's the sign up going so far for the 5K? Um, 5Ks at this point we're a little under, but um, I think we have close to um, about 150 people already signed up between uh, runners and walkers. But that'll we usually sign up another couple hundred the day of the race so. so a lot of people show up the day of yeah and you know the cool thing i always noted about this is so many people come from outside of madison to run this race is that correct yeah well it's kind of turned out to be a detillo reunion kind of thing i mean there's detillos everywhere they're everywhere um <laughs> so yeah they're, they're a lot of a lot of participation that way and that's you know we have the online um you can you can go online as well to um, set up a uh, to sign up, and that is uh, at racemenu.com/molly5k. Um, racemenu.com molly. I mean racemenu.com/molly5k. You can go online and still sign up that way, or you can come to Ivy Tech or the day of the race. And uh, the race starts at what time? The race starts at uh, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, okay. Actually, the rally, the bike rally, starts at 7.45. Then the um, 5K and 5K walk start at 8. And then the youth races start at 9.15. Okay. And then after everyone's done, what do you do when everyone's done at that point? I go home and <laughs> relax, uh, uh, chill out, find a hot tub. Um, there you go. <laughs> so, hey, um, we celebrate. We celebrate. You know, the moment in time is when these youngsters start, you know, what happens? The 5Ks uh, uh, come into a close, and about, I don't know, uh, you can see the half milers already lining up, you know, kind of jockeying for position, shoving, you know, getting. So, th the. The youthful runners are really psyched up and ready to go, and so. But we basically celebrate another great year. Now we're going to discuss with some of the young people who are running this year. Young man, what is your name? My name is Griffin. Griffin, what's your last name? Schwartz. Griffin Schwartz. Griffin, what grade are you in? Fourth. Why do you run? <laughs> uh, because it keeps me um, healthy, mm -hmm. and um, I like running with my friends. Mm -hmm. Is it, is it easier a lot of times when you run with your friends? Do you run up by yourself? How does that work? Well, um, usually I try to get first, but when I'm not, uh, <laughs> when I start to get tired, I sort of lay back and run with my friends. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been running, you know, like this? Um, I think three, four years. What made you get started on this? Um, well, 
I started running with my friends and I realized my parents, they realized I was really fast. So um, in kindergarten, they signed me up for the Molly to Cello um, half mile to see how fast I could run. They didn't even ask you if you wanted to, they just signed you up? Parents these days. <laughs> Well, and the fact is, are you happy your parents signed you up, though? Yes. So as you get older, you're probably going to go into more of the longer races. Is that what you want to do as you get older? Um, I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about it? Well, all right then. So are you excited for next Saturday, though? Yes. All right. Well, Griffin, thank you very much for coming in this morning, and best of luck, and keep running. It's a fun thing to do. Thank you. And we are going to have another young person step in here. Young lady, what's your name? Ellie Whitaker. Hello, Ellie Whitaker. How are you doing? Good. What grade are you in? Fourth. You're in fourth as well. So, uh, how long have you been running? Since kindergarten. Since kindergarten. Was it the same thing? Your parents signed you up for the Molly Run and that was it? Um, it was kind of my choice and when I heard that a lot of my friends were doing it, I decided I wanted to do it too. So, this is something you want to keep doing? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but let's get to the heart of it. Did popsicles have anything to do with it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Popsicles. That's yeah. why we had 365 kids signed up. <laughs> I, I mean, that's why I signed up initially to run. <laughs> so um, running now, you know, you say you run with your friends. Does that kind of make it even better, just running with your friends? And do you, yeah. do you encourage your other friends to run as well? Yeah, they encourage me, and it helps us get through the race. You, you know, how important is that for you to have that encouragement? Because a lot of times, especially in running, it can get to the point where you can kind of get down on yourself, but it's nice to have a support system there. Yeah, I kind of get down and feel like I need to start walking, but if my friends are there and they encourage me to keep running or at least a light jog, then I'll keep going. So for any uh, younger people that maybe you don't know that are listening and thinking about running, what's your message to them on why they should do this? Um, even if you don't like running, keep going and it will keep you healthy and that you can try to get your friends into it because that helps a lot too. Well, Ellie, very, very much thank you and best of luck in the running world, okay? All right, and another young person stepping in here. Young lady, what is your name? Um, Ruthie Whitaker. Ruthie Whitaker, what grade are you in? Second. Second, so you're the youngest one of the three here, so why do you run? Um, I run because um, uh, a lot of my friends were doing it too, and um, they always told me that I wasn't as healthy as <laughs> I used to be. Um, but um, they were doing it and I just thought, and they were really scared that they thought they couldn't run as fast as all the other kids did. So I started running um, so I could encourage them and so I could get a little bit healthier. Do you try to beat the older kids? I try to. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, you've been, how long have you been running now? Uh, two years. So since kindergarten as well? Mm-hmm. And was it the popsicles? Part. Okay. Part of it. <laughs> so you're running in the Molly Run next Saturday. Why do you run in this race every year? Is it just because you're friends or, you know, is, uh, is it just something you really just enjoy running? Well, running is okay. It's just when I run a lot, then it might get a little bit annoying. But I do this because I just thought it was um, like when Molly got lost, um, it just kind of made my heart sad. And like when I heard about it, because I haven't, like, I heard about it when I was pretty young, and it just kind of made me sad. So I thought I could help. Is, you know, the, and first of all, beautifully said, and is this something, you know, running-wise, do you want to keep doing this event every year? Um, I want to try. Okay. <laughs> and so is, is running something maybe in the long term, like as you get older into junior high and high school? Um, I want to try to run. Uh, I want to keep it... Um, like, I want to keep my body healthy, and I want to try to keep running, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that all my life. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Well, thank you very much for joining me this morning, okay? And best of luck Saturday. Okay.
you know, that is the cool thing about running, because when you, you can do it all your life, and you, if you, you, you'll get hooked on it. I can, I can think you're already hooked on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Kelly, you've got a wonderful group of young people that are up here and so encouraged to run Saturday. Well, I tell you, you know, I, I love this race, but it, it, but it's a moment in time. When you, when you're down there, Crystal Beach, in the in the half milers start lining up, you realize, man, this is all worth it. And again, um, I, I'm I'm with her on this as far as Molly. Uh, the the Dottillo family is so appreciative of this event, and uh, I. I in fact, Mrs. Dottillo calls me every so often and thanks me, you know, like I'm the only one doing it. I'm, you know, there's 80 volunteers and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight people, nine people on the uh, planning committee. And um, so it's just, it, it's more than a one man show. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, that's, it couldn't be done without this, such community participation. Are you surprised every year at how many people in the community keep coming out or at this point do you just come to expect it? Well, um, I'm a little competitive that way. I always like to see the numbers increase. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, it depends on a lot of different things. And, um, you know, one year we had 1,458 runners, and that's the top. And uh, it was almost too many. <laughs> you know? That's uh, incredible, though. Yeah. And, uh, but we we kind of hover around that 800 to 1,000. And uh, just depending, you know, if it's good weather and good sunshiny and not you know not too hot not too cold and you know so but bottom line is um you know i repeat we have 365 elementary youthful runners already signed up and boy that that goes a long way you know that's what that's what it's about that's it's a neat thing well, what i hope when i see that is that they keep this going as they get older because i think that's we need more of that we really do well paul um the event's going on do you want to go through the times again on when people should arrive um sure the bike rally starts at uh, 7 45 the 5k run starts at eight sharp um the five minutes later, the 5K walk starts. 9, 9.15, the youth races start. We have four different ones. We have a uh, half mile for girls, half mile for boys, mile for boys, mile for uh, girls. All those runners get a ribbon, popsicles by Kroger's, <laughs> and, um, and uh, there's a traveling trophy that the uh, third and fourth graders will be vying for. So, um, so that kind of wraps that up as far as the, the timeline. And, uh, you know, just a great event, Paul. And, uh, you know, what's your message to people out there listening that maybe haven't signed up yet? Never too late. Come on down. Six o'clock to 730, 8 o'clock, we'll sign people up. And, um, and, and that's, that's for both team, uh, young runners, the youthful runners, and the uh, 5K folks. The, um, you know, I, I should mention too, uh, this always blows my mind, we have 40, um, 45 sponsors throughout the community. Um, and, you know, one of the first people to sign up was Hinkle's uh, downtown. I just love that, you know. And, and, you know, when we send off, Hinkle's check is the first one in, in the mailbox. Uh, they always send it right in. But, you know, um, Craig Toyota, uh, Barlow Law, Sherman Barber Milliken, uh, Suntime Printing, Gardner Insurance, you know, it goes, the list is long. Um, and I, I appreciate, we appreciate our sponsors and uh, we appreciate the community, how they come in and uh, get involved. You know, if, if there's uh, if there's 800 runners this year, great. There'll be also a thousand people there to watch, uh, watch those little bambinos, and um, and then the bambinos root for the parents, and you know it's a win-win-win. Excellent. Well, Paul, I'm very much looking forward to being down Saturday, and uh, it's going to be a fun, fun day. Thank you to the wonderful young people you brought in, and thank you very much, Paul, for coming in. Give yourself a round of applause.